بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الحبة في الله some observations that I witnessed in my recent travels to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia with regards to the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah and our brothers and sisters there who are struggling, the Muslims in general who are finding difficulty in their faith, they're being tested with trials and tribulations from authorities and from those people who have been put in position of authority, the Jamaat al-Ahbash. Jamaat al-Ahbash is sanctioned by the uh, Christian government there and they have control over the Masajid and what happens in the mosques in the Masajid all around Ethiopia. And due to this puppeteering, it poses a threat to the Da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah and the Da'wah of the Muslims in general. Many people have been jailed, uh, many of the Muslim leaders, generally not those who are from Ahlul Sunnah, but those maybe from Akhwan Muslimin and some of the other groups. But nevertheless, they are Muslim striving for Islam and they are being sidelined with regards to their rights and sidelined <coughs> with regards to their right in the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the houses of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. However, bashirukum bil khair. Also, I witnessed a lot of khair, a lot of good. The Ahl Sunnah and in the Masajid in general, there's still durus going on. I went to one of the particular Masajid there, one of the biggest ones, and I won't say its name, but it's probably known. And when I saw after the Dhur prayer, I witnessed halaqat, mashallah, durus. There was many different durus, different mashayikh there <coughs> were doing durus. One young sheikh, mashallah, he it sounded very strong in tafsir. And he had a huge halakha. I would say there was a couple of hundred people it, it, it looked, who were gathered around him with their books. Not much money, not much uh, material, but they were there studying Kitabillah and Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So you saw this khair, regardless of what Jamaat al Ahbash, walau kariya al kafir, walau kariya al bid'a, walau kariya al zambaka wa al ilhad. So regardless of the efforts of those groups that have deviated, like Jamaat al Ahbash and others who are extremists, that the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah still goes on. I also had a chance to visit some of the uh, Mudaris there of Ahl Sunnah. And again, I won't say the names, but Alhamdulillah, we were able to see and they were getting ready to study the book that we're studying, Shar Sunnah, Imam Baba Hari, walhamdulillah. Approximately 20 students will be studying that book. And we saw some of the other khair, tafsir, bulugh of maram, all kind of things being taught by some of our brothers from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And likewise, we saw some of the other harms because of the divisions between some of the brothers and their extremism that we saw those divisions too, that I witnessed, I met brothers who unfortunately exhibited that they had limited knowledge, but yet they wanted to speak about their brothers from Ahl Sunnah without ilm. And they wanted to lie upon them, but however, those brothers who they spoke about, I know personally, and I studied side by side under the beards of many of the scholars in Medina. So I know what they're upon, and I know they respect the scholars, and I've seen their da'wah there in Ethiopia firsthand. So we know the khair, that even though the hadith of the Prophet is being implemented, or not that it's being implemented, it's coming to prophecy, 
The Prophet said, If Tarakatil Yahuda la it was a Ain Firka, if Tarakatil Nasara la it Natain was a Ain Firka, was a Taftariku had the Umma la Talata was a Ain Firka, Kulha did not a Wahida, Kulla men here Ya Rasulullah, Kala men can Allah bet you my can Ali was Habi al Yom Kabakala Nebu, Salahu Alihi Wala Alihi was Salam. The Prophet said, The Jews were breaking the 71 sect, the Christians in the 72 sect, and my Umma in the 73 sect. All of them in the fire except one. And they say, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? The Prophet والسلام, said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon al Letting us know, Ayyul Habbati Fillah, that our brothers from Ahl Sunnah that, that suffer around the world, whether they're in Indonesia, whether they're in Ethiopia, whether they're in Somalia, whether they're in Bangladesh, whether they're in Burma, whether they're in Thailand, whether they're in... Uh, the, Central African Republic, wherever they are, that they still, the khair is still there. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with them. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam also gave us glad tidings in a sahih hadith that you'll find in Bukhari and Muslim. Qala Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, la tazal ta'ifatun min ummati dhahirin ala al-haq. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said there won't cease to be a group from amongst my nation that continues to be on the truth. The Prophet said, no one will harm them, even if they differ with them until the day of judgment. So Ahl Sunnah Mujud, Ahl Sunnah will not be hurt by Jamaat al Ahbash. Jamaat al Ahbash can't stop the Dawah, even if they have a position of authority and power. La Yumkin, because Ahl Sunnah will keep teaching the books. Keep teaching and studying Kitabullah with Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and spreading it according to the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah. Well, Okariyo Ahl Bida, even Ahl Bida hates it. They hate it. They hate Salafis. They hate Ahl Sunnah. They claim, they call them Wahhabi. They call them this. They call them that. They call them Ghulat. They call them everything. But, La Yadurhu, Man Khalifu, Man Khalifu, Wala Man Kadaluhu. No one will be able to harm them because they're still going to be Mojud. Yes, people from Ahl Sunnah will be killed. Yes, people from Ahl Sunnah will be harmed. Yes, people from Ahl Sunnah will be imprisoned. But still, the Dawah is going to keep going, with or without us. It's still going to go because Allah promised, and, Allah, and the Prophet والسلام, promised. He said, La min ummati There won't cease to be a group from my nation on the truth. So although the Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith that the du'at will be on the abwaab of Jahannam, that you have these du'at, like Abdullah Hirari who's deceased, but his jamaat still exists, and these other, the takfiris, those extremists like Bin Laden who also is deceased, but those people who follow his madhab and his minhaj, and, and Al-Qaeda and these other groups of innovation, that although they call to the hellfire, and they are around, on the Sunnah Bojud also, Ahl Sunnah stand strong. Ahl Sunnah plants the flag of the Sunnah and the minhaj and the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah. And Ahl Sunnah will keep going forward. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from them. May Allah bless us with tawfiq. May Allah bless us with the class with the bat. May Allah bless us with firmness on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Fahim Salaf of this Ummah. Even if people harm you, even if people speak about you, even if people don't like the fact you speak about this one or this one for the sake of Allah, not for the sake of your nafs, not for the sake of making ta'zim and nafs, but you speak about their mistakes because they're calling to the fire, they're calling to the abwaab of Jahannam, those people who have innovated in the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we won't cease to... To, to continue to speak about bid'ah and ahl bid'ah لِأَنَّ هَذَا مِنْهَجَ حَقْ هَذَا مِنْهَجَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم. This is the madhab of Imam of Imam al-Muttaqeen Muhammad ibn Abdullah صلى الله عليه وسلم Yes, it's from the religion of Islam to speak about bid'ah to speak about innovation to speak about sin to speak about sinfulness and the people of sin and the people of ma'asi and the people of bid'ah and it also is built upon the harms and the benefits. Because the Prophet والسلام, said, Mada qala Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi hadith Abdullah fi hadith Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qala Nabiyu sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul 
من رعب منكم منكر فليغيره بيد فإن لم يستطع فبلسانه فإن لم يستطع فبقلبه وذلك عليه في الإيمان The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said in Sahih Muslim He said whoever sees a munkar, an evil uh, from amongst you then change it with his hand If he's unable to do so then change it with his tongue speak out against it And if he's unable to do so then, then hate it in his heart and that's the weakest of Iman all of those are maratib of the iman. Those are all levels of iman in joining the munkar and disliking munkar and sinfulness and bid'ah. Disliking when someone innovates in the religion and says it's permissible to make tawaf around graves. When someone says you should make intercession with the dead. So when someone says, yastaghith bi ghayrillah, yastaghath bi ghayrillah. When they, they, they seek hope and refuge in their dead and in their graves and make a tawaf around the graves and making sacrifice upon their graves. We dislike that, bid'ah. That's bid'ah mukaffara. A, a lot of that is bid'ah mukaffara. That teach out of old Islam. We hate shirk. We hate kufr. We hate zandaka. And we love iman. And we love sunnah. And we love that all of our brothers and sisters come to Kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Those are just some of the humble observations that I saw with our brothers and sisters. Make dua for our brothers and sisters in Ethiopia and Habisha and around the world. And may Allah bless the Muslims everywhere, forgive the Muslims everywhere, guide the Muslims everywhere. And bless us with the class with the battle of sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa fahim as-salafa hadhi ummah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.